Okay, guys, Mr. Popsit here. This is what we call pediculosis pubis. You don't see this all that often, but this is um, body lice. You can see it's about two millimeters, and you can see the little legs there. I'm going to try and get closer. Um, they can get a little bigger than that, and they will lay little tiny eggs on the hairs. So when you have somebody that has repetitive itching that's kind of centralized in the scalp and groin, but spreading to other parts of the body, and you look at the hair shafts closely, you will see little knits, which are what look like little black dots or sometimes white dots on the hair shaft. That is an egg. It's laid there. I'm going to see how close I can get. There we go. You can see them pretty well. See all the little legs and the little head. So um, this is a common thing sometimes in the elderly population. Sometimes the elderly population, it takes care of their young grandchildren. And they can pick it up at school. And then, um, you know, they snuggle with their grandkids. And then they get it in their hair. And that can be spread. So not something you see every day. But if you have a patient that looks like they're getting a drug eruption or an allergic reaction. And it's not getting better. You need to look very closely. And I mean, these are small things. You've got to have good eyes. But you can start to see that. And you'll start to see the pile up of the nits on, on the hair. So um, this is a good catch. We're going to get them taken care of. It's just, you know, anti-mite treatments. You can do shampoos and permethrin for the body. Um, a cream you can put all over. Or ivermectin. These are all things that we use. So um, thanks for uh, sharing this little guy. <laughs> he shared his little story. <laughs> and uh, thanks for popping by.